Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning. It's currently 4 in the morning and right now I'm on my way to TJ to get my breasts done. It is like a 3 hour drive right now since it's early in the morning and there's nobody out in the streets. So I mean I'll be getting there around 7.20ish and I have to be there at 7.30 for them to like take my blood work, check my heart and all that good stuff. I'll update you guys either when I get there or after my surgery but I'll give you guys an update. Now we're going through everything. This is the room that I'm going to be put in. They remodeled everything so it looks completely different but they're taking copy of my ID and then they're going to get everything ready to do lab work before they put me in for surgery. It's currently 8 in the morning. They already did everything to prepare me. They took out my blood work, they checked my heart and then they already put the little cap on me and then they also wrapped up my legs and right now me hugged to the IV and I'm just waiting for one more person to come in. The doctor already came in, took the measurements and everything. So right now we're between like a 355 to 375 cc. Originally won a 375 cc but he says like it doesn't look like I have so much skin on top for the skin to stretch out. So during the surgery if he sees that like my skin cannot stretch that much then he's going to put in the 355. But I'm hoping the 375 because I really want the 375 and yeah we're just waiting now. Now it's a waiting game until they come in and they roll me into surgery. Oh, look at my legs. So there's the entrance of the room and then it's the bathroom. I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of nervous. At first they tried to put the IV through my hand but like they couldn't find the vein so then they have to put it right here as you guys can see like I still have blood so I just came out of surgery well not really but like two hours ago I came out of surgery I'm just here meanwhile because they're observing me before I go home to make sure that I'm okay when I first came out I was like just drugged up <laughs> I was really drugged up when I first came out like everything was just I don't know it was really weird I was so out of it and I just feel pressure with like a little bit of pain, but it's not to the point where like I need pain medicine, but they're still giving me pain medicine just to prevent pain. But it's just like a lot of pressure and it's mainly like on my sides. They brought me a water bottle, a tea, and they also brought me like a bowl of fruit to eat me while. So I really can't get up now. I just got home and it's like 8 p.m. already. And by the way, I am really pale. Like just look how white my lips are. Kind of not feeling so well. I have some pain, but I wouldn't say it's something that's like not tolerable. But I have pain. Like I'm on on a scale of one to ten. I'm at a five. I want to say I'm at a five. And then on top of that, I have a lot of back pain, but I knew that was going to happen since I am a very petite person. So getting this done, I need to expect back pain. I'm just really tired. I'm just resting. The good thing is I have a good support system where I'm getting a lot of help with the kids. I honestly was not expecting to feel pain because from my nose surgery, I didn't have any pain at all. And from my breast, I'm feeling a little bit of pain. I already drank all my medication. I'm feeling a little bit like nauseous and a little lightheaded. I feel like a lot of pressure and tightening on top of my breast. So I mean, I'll keep you guys updated. It's the second day since I got my surgery done. If I'm being honest, it was kind of a rough night because I was sleeping, waking up, sleeping, waking up. And then when I will wake up, I'll be awake for like two hours, three hours. But just because of the discomfort, like it was very uncomfortable to try to find my position. Like I kept having to adjust my pillows. You cannot sleep laying flat. You need to be elevated. And then today I'm feeling more like a 6.5 out of 10. I already drank my pain medication. But if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I'm not, I wasn't expecting to feel like this type of pain. It's tolerable pain, but it still hurts. You know and then on top of the pain you're having pressure you're having a lot of tightening and you literally feel your skin like stretching 
so it's like you have all these different feelings mixed together and then i noticed that my stomach kind of swelled up as well but yesterday i did have my hands and like my legs going up but i know that's completely normal because when my mom went for her breast reduction the same thing happened to her i like show you guys how they're looking right now this is how my breasts are looking right now i kind of find it hard to stand up straight like if you guys notice i'm kind of like hunched over i can move my arms from my elbow down but if i try to like actually like lean out my arm to get something i feel pain on the side of my breast so i have pain on both breasts when i try to do that but i can do more with my left arm compared to my right arm since my right breast does hurt more so this is how my area is looking like where i'm currently sleeping i have like three four pillows stacked up right there this pillow is more for like my legs and my butt area so as you can tell i am sleeping really elevated update it is later on it's currently 8 p.m right now and i've been having pain like on and off the whole day but this time the pain has been like an 8 out of 10. the crazy thing is that it's only on my right breast as that i've been taking my pain medication right on time even though they told me to take it every eight hours but if it's needed i can take it every six hours so that's what i've been doing i've been taking my pain medication every six hours i've been on and off the whole day i've been sleeping waking up for a little bit walking around for a little bit because they do tell you to walk around obviously not that much because you cannot walk around for that it long. is day three post-op since my surgery and it's already the afternoon it's like around five in the afternoon I've still been feeling very drowsy in and out of it since yesterday but I feel like I'm getting better little by little every day so today the pain has been a little bit less but I've still been having a lot of burning and a lot of itchiness like the itchiness is just increasing day by day and I feel like when I talk a little too much or a little too quick I run out of breath so easily so I have to like slow myself down and stop in between when I'm talking just have my moments where I start to feel really weak when i start to feel really weak that's when i know like i need to rest already because i do get tired easily just walking back and forth that's my red flag that it's time to lay down first day when i came out of surgery my back was hurting a lot the entire day the entire night and then it did stop hurting yesterday like in the afternoon around 1 p.m it stopped hurting so that's a good thing that i don't have back pain but I do have shoulder pain because of the way that I'm sleeping elevated. The most frustrating part is that there's not much I can do. Like I need help for everything. I cannot even do my own hair. That's how my hair looks the way it does. Man, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm in a lot of pain. It is day three since crying. I'm gonna film this day late because since last night I couldn't sleep, I've been having really excruciating pain. You know how I told you guys at first it was on my right breast? Well, since last night it was on my left breast. But I don't know if it's because of the bra that I put on. That I showered, I did put on a different bra and I think it was a little too tight on me. It affected my left boob now. It's been like that the whole day where pain medicine doesn't even help. So you guys can tell, but this is my left breast. This is my right. You see where the tape is? My right is a little higher than this one. And even from the side, it's like more swollen compared to the side of my right breast. Just tell by the tape, this one is like higher. Hey guys, welcome back. It is day four, but it's Wednesday and it's been like four days since I've gotten my surgery done. Today I did went to the doctor just for a revision and they said everything looks good. It doesn't look like I have no infection or anything. And then they did say the pain is normal. I'm going to have some days where I'm going to have more pain compared to other days so like as you guys saw in the clip from yesterday i was in a lot of pain that day but today i did wake up feeling way better i just have like a lot of tightening and a little bit of burning but all that is completely normal to feel like all those things to feel tightening stretching burning it's completely normal so it is day five today it's thursday and I'm feeling a lot better today compared to like the previous days. Now the previous days they have been kind of rough. It was like a roller coaster, honestly. I believe that in any type of recovering journey, whether it's cosmetic surgery or any type of other surgery that you go through, it's going to be a roller coaster because you're gonna have your days 
where you feel great and then you're gonna have days where you feel terrible and that was my situation like two days ago like two days ago i felt terrible i'm like why did i do this i shouldn't have done this and don't get me wrong i still have my days where i'm like i really shouldn't have done this at least in this timing because i do have a newborn i have a toddler and at this point i'm like i can't wait to go back to my duties but it has been five days already since my surgery and this is how they are looking like now my stomach is still really swollen and hard because obviously for the whole week i wasn't able to use the restroom but that changed because today was the day that i was able to go number two and it felt so great because i never knew what being constipated was like obviously when you go through a breast augmentation your mobility is limited you cannot really do a lot with your arms you look like a t-rex you feel like a t-rex that's how i feel i feel like i'm just like this like just able to move from my elbow down but today I'm able to do a little bit more and the good thing also that today I'm finally able to eat like I'm actually hungry because ever since I got my surgery done I haven't been hungry at all like I was only eating one meal a day and be safe you playing peekaboo with them? Besides that one meal that I would eat during the day I was just drinking water and I was drinking my bleach juice Another progress that was made today was I'm able to straighten my back a little bit more compared to when I got surgery. Ever since I got my breast done, I just been hunched over literally like this and I feel all the pressure on my shoulders like my shoulders are aching. Today is the day that I'm finally able to straighten out my back a little bit. It is day 13 today and the last update that I gave you guys was from like day 5. I stopped recording after that because pretty much the last couple of days since the last update that I gave you guys, everything was the same. I was just feeling better and better every day. Of course, like I'm not just going to feel super great, but I am doing better. Obviously, up to this day, I get random burning, random itchiness, random like stretching where I feel stretching. I feel still a lot of pressure, a lot of tightening. Every day, I feel it getting tighter and tighter and tighter. It feels almost like both of my breasts are just coming together. Get me wrong, I have some days where I'll feel very tired and I kind of don't feel good. But it's nothing to the point that the pain medicine will not help. So I stopped on my medication already. But when I am in some pain, I will take my medication. I noticed also that since like a couple of days after getting my surgery done, I started to break out and I had kind of stopped breaking out. I don't know if you guys can tell but they're not big blemishes but i am getting little blemishes and then on top of breaking out my hair has been very dry and it's been falling off a lot my skin has been very dry i don't have dry skin my skin type is oily acne prone skin but since my surgery my skin has been super dry and it's been literally peeling when it comes to these areas right here and my chin those are the three major areas where i have a lot of dryness and peeling those are my little updates and since tomorrow i do turn exactly two weeks i already got my tape removed and the tape over my stitches however they did leave the stitches on there but because it's supposed to fall off on their own every doctor does a difference some doctors will remove the stitches for you and some doctors will tell you to leave them on there and they'll fall off on their own i'm gonna make a whole separate video on that kind of like a q a telling you guys about the doctor i went to the pricing um what size i got done and all that good stuff that you guys are probably curious about i still want to say that in the beginning I was able to move more my right arm and do more with it like i can lift my right arm up to here but when it comes to my left arm i've been struggling to do anything with my left arm like right now i can move it up a little more compared to when i first came out of surgery like now this is like probably the highest this is probably the highest that i can lift it but before that i wasn't able to lift this my left arm up at all like i still need a little bit of assistance so what i do is i grab my right arm put it under my elbow and like if i need to do something this is literally what i'm doing to grab something since i came out of surgery i started to feel numbness on my left arm from my elbow up so i kind of don't have a lot of sensation right there but i did a lot of research and it's it's normal they say sometimes some nerves could have been damaged and, and if that was the case where you had some damaged nerves it's gonna take a couple of months for the nerves to reconstruct and obviously heal a little battle with my left arm but with my right arm 
I can do everything. That being said, I'm not saying that that's my problem that I probably have damaged nerves. It's more like a self-diagnosis and based off of what I've seen on Google. I didn't bring it up to the doctor since I don't think it's anything major because so far everything that I bring up to the doctor, he says that it's normal, everything's looking good. So obviously you're gonna trust your surgeon if they're telling you that it's looking good. As long as there's no sign of infection and I can still move my arm, it's good i didn't feel the need to bring it up i am making more progress with my left arm where i'm able to lift it up a little more i'm able to do a little more with it so again i don't think that's the case for me where i have damaged nerves that's gonna be it for this video though i hope you guys enjoyed i tried to be as detailed as possible during this recovery journey i'm obviously still recovering i'm barely gonna be two weeks tomorrow but i hope you guys enjoyed this video